Welcome to another lesson in object-oriented programming. This lesson is about Java Swing events. In previous lessons you would have seen different ways of how to create graphical user interfaces. So um, we use Java Swing and you've seen how to import that package and then using a number of different components such as a J frame or a J button also using different layout managers then to add components to frames but that would allow you to to create some at least some simple graphical user interfaces like this here this is a just a j frame um, i've added here a j button using the flow layout manager and so we have this simple button here saying click me um, that's very straightforward to create in Swing. But also in previous sessions you would have probably noticed that the buttons don't do anything. No matter how hard you click here, let me try this, it doesn't do anything. So how can we solve this? And that's actually actually really the objective of this session. <coughs> in the end of the session what I want you to be able to do is to be able to explain what an event in Java Swing is. Also I would like you to be able to explain why these events are important and on a more practical level you should actually be able to create some Swing components that react to user actions like this button when this when you click on this button a message should come up and say hey I have been clicked that's the idea for this session and we start looking into this by looking at real events so for example here's Bob Bob is trying to get in touch with Anne unfortunately Anne currently is in a meeting so she doesn't answer the phone Bob really needs to know when is this meeting over because he wants to get in contact with her um, and if she doesn't answer the phone or she will answer the phone only when the meeting is over. This brings us actually to our first quiz. So Bob needs to know when the event meeting is finished, if we call this an event, when this event occurs. What should Bob, Bob do? Well you have two options here. Either Bob could keep ringing Anne every five minutes until she answers the phone. Or secondly, he could leave her a message saying, please call me back. Which do you think would be the best option for Bob to do?